So we hit 88 for our highs today here in San Angelo. So some upper 80s and a few mid 80s for a few. So a few degrees above average. We're going to see the mid 80s for the rest of this Thursday that's going to be coming up. But we're going to see stronger winds before a cold front coming through. So right now it is about 10 to 15 miles per hour coming out of the east. It's all going to shift though and come from the south. So that's why we'll see it a little bit cooling down. Or you're starting to see one or two degrees cooling off for most of the Concho Valley. Or you're starting to hit 87 here, San Angelo, Mertzen. Still pretty warm out towards a zone. So we're going to see those upper 80s again come back to tomorrow. But what we're going to be seeing is a buildup in winds because right now they're starting to die down for a few areas. Big Lake and Azono at 8 to 9, but gusts were pretty strong as well. Those are building up for tomorrow as well. So it is going to be a windy Thursday, but on the warm side, that is because we're watching this cold front that's starting to get into the south and cuts just up north of us here in Texas. So we're still seeing warm air. We are going to get that cold front and a few showers for us on Thursday. So for tonight, going to be cool and clear. We'll hit 62. Winds die down a little bit as they're shifting towards the south. Then we see a pretty strong windy day for us. We're hitting 15 to 30 miles per hour, and gusts could get even stronger for that. That's because of the cold front that's coming through. It's going to be building in winds, but not cooling us off just yet because the cooler temperatures come through on Friday. It's going to be early in the morning when we see that shift in winds coming in. So Friday early, we're still seeing... 3 o'clock in the morning, we're looking right now, 20 miles per hour, a few areas seen a little bit stronger out there. Then as that cold front moves south of us, we'll still have strong winds, but it's all coming in from the north. So we're going to cool it down to the upper 70s. A breeze from the north making it feel even cooler out there. So it is going to be a nice cool end to the week. Kind of bookmarked it. We had 106 on Monday. We're going to be seeing some upper 70s on Friday. But with that cold front, the strong winds, the warm air, and that uplift coming through, we do have the potential potential to see some showers and storms. We have a marginal risk for most of the western counties out towards Sterling, Big Lake, even getting a little bit of Robert Lee and just barely into San Angelo for them. And then it loses its strength as it moves eastward. So most of it is going to be quick pop up if you do see it of a storm or two. Most of it though is going to be happening early on our Friday. So looking at six o'clock, a little bit of a widespread is a bit overdone. We'll see one or two areas seeing some showers. One of them could get a little bit stronger. Maybe hear one a little thing of thunder, see a flash of lightning if you are up that early. But we're going to be clearing that out for the rest of the afternoon into the evening. A few clouds stick around for us a little bit. Well, then we'll start to see that nice cool down that we're waiting for because it was seeing like summer conditions at the beginning of the week and now we're seeing a little bit of a cool down because of that cold front. So very normal for tomorrow. The big thing is it is going to be windy, batting down the hatches for your Thursday and then Friday. Cool temperatures with a few of those showers early in the morning, 77 and even seeing a low hit 48 so getting below 50, you're going to feel very nice to start out on the chilly side, actually, for Saturday, and then hitting 77 as well. Then for Mother's Day, yes, we don't want to forget, we're going to be hitting 85, so normal this time of year. And we're going to be sitting in that pattern into next week as well. We do see a little bit of moisture come back Tuesday. That's going to give us a few sh afternoon showers that are going to pop up in the heat of the day. But until that happens, we're all looking forward to the weekend and the benefit of seeing that colder temperatures. But we got to get through that Thursday that's going to be pretty windy with some strong winds from getting up to 40 miles per hour for some guys.